case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1985, the United States District Court for the Southern District of Florida heard a case centered around the legality of a pre-trial detention order. Shackled to the proceedings of United States v. Botero was Hernan Botero, a Colombian citizen who stood accused of money laundering. His current situation, being held without bail prior to his trial, was one he sought to challenge. Hernan Botero's indictment actually dated back to 1981, but he remained in Colombia refusing to voluntarily return to the U.S. to face his charges. Fast forward three years, law enforcement finally apprehended Botero on Colombian soil in May 1984. By January 1985, he was extradited back to the U.S. As he tensely navigated his way to the courthouse, Botero was met with seven additional counts. Yet, he persisted in challenging not only his extradition, but also the court's jurisdiction to try him in the first place. The court reached its decision with careful consideration of several factors. Notably, they highlighted Botero's lack of substantial ties to the U.S., his refusal to voluntarily return and face charges, his status as a 10-count fugitive, and the stringent conditions proposed on his behalf for his release. The court underscored that these conditions would not suffice to ensure Botero's appearance at trial. The court ultimately ruled in favor of the pre-trial detention order, cementing the legality of keeping a defendant in custody if substantial grounds were shown that the person posed a risk of absconding. This decision reflects the principles of the Bail Reform Act, the idea that pre-trial detention is a necessary measure to aid in the protection of the community and prevent possible flight by accused individuals. Botero, the court concluded, presented a substantial risk given the nature and circumstances of his offenses. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.